so today I'm going to show you how to reserve a study space or a computer in the library. Um, the library is open, but the second and third floors are not currently open to the campus community. So if you want to use a study space, um, those are going to be located on the first floor and the ground floor. Um, the reservable spaces are all on the first floor and you would reserve those by clicking on this reserve spaces button. This page will tell you a little bit more about what spaces are open. So we've got drop-in spaces that don't need an appointment, but we have 12 study spaces and eight computers on the first level, sort of near the north side of the building that faces the parking structure um, that you can reserve. And so making a reservation for one of these is um, pretty straightforward. So you're gonna see this big green button in the middle of this page. You're gonna wanna click on that where it says make a reservation. And it'll take you to a calendar with all of the available spaces and times that are they're open. Right now we're not seeing anything because if we saw something that was open, it would be green. And that is because you have to reserve a study space or a computer at least 12 hours in advance. So if we go to tomorrow instead of today, now we're starting to see some green spaces that are open. Anything that's red is something that was booked by another student. So let's say tomorrow I need a space from 11 to 12. I can click on this and then the hour right after it. And it's showing me here that I'm temporarily holding those. If I scroll down, I'm gonna to wanna to click on continue and it'll have me enter my name and email. Once you submit the booking, you're gonna receive an email that has that information in it and you have to confirm the booking in order for it to actually be held for you. So make sure that you do that. So that's how you reserve a study space in the library. It's pretty easy. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is that while you're in the library, it's really important that you wear your mask the whole time that you're in the building. Um, it can be kind of tiring to wear a mask for a long time, but it's really important that when you're in shared spaces, you do your part and keep the mask on. Um, so thank you in advance for keeping your fellow students and our faculty and staff safe. Um, and thanks for watching.